Welcome to today's training. Today we are going through how to share screen and do screen captures so that you can use them for various posts and ads. Um, anybody want to share what their plans are with this great uh, ability that we have because of technology? I have plans to do some videos to share with my team so they can learn how to do things in the back office on their own. Amazing. Cool. Same thing. Instead of sending out every action that I'm doing, it would be easier if I could definitely share the screen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, for sure. So sharing screen on Facebook and stuff, you guys, are you guys comfortable? You guys know how to do that, right? So to record the screen is probably the hardest thing. There's a couple ways to do it. I mean, the, mo the my favorite, personal favorite way is through a computer because the resolution is a little bit better. But sometimes we do need to do it from our phone. <coughs> Excuse me. So when we do it from our phone, you can actually download different apps. Zoom, unfortunately, you cannot record your session on Zoom. I think it's because it has to do with the amount of storage you need to have on your phone. So um, I've downloaded like a screen recorder app before and I I have recorded like short two minute videos on there. It does eat up a lot of memory though, just FYI. So you have to make sure you do end up emptying your phone as you require or get an external storage for your phone. So I have um, a, like, it, I think it depends on what type of phone you have, but like mine has like the little SIM card that you can switch up. Don't really know how to do it. Nelson does it for me and he chose my phone. I just told him, get me a phone that records pretty videos. That's all I care. So that he did and so I'm happy happy go lucky for that so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen now and I'm recording it so you guys are going to see it partially in the recording so um if you're using something like zoom because for go to what happens is I believe go to is a platform you do need to pay for zoom is free for us to use um for up to 40 minutes usually sometimes they just kind of let you go ahead and go forever but normally it cuts off around 40 minutes or so so um i use zoom a lot to record things that i want to share on the website so any training things that i'm doing that i'm going to be uh sharing a screen or something like that and honestly it is easier if you have more than one screen if you are doing some sort of uh, screen share plus record because that way i can be sharing something that's happening on one side of one of my screens but i'm still looking at my camera so it looks like i'm having a conversation with you as opposed to doing this the entire time and having a conversation conversation this way right because it's just more personable this way than this way I feel there is a share screen button at the very bottom of the page and when you do that and you press record it is recorded and then what happens from there you can choose whether or not to share um, either a particular app or you can choose to share a particular screen so when you choose to do an app it only will share that one app so even if you move something over top of the app I think it doesn't change but if you choose to share screen what you can do is you can always move things over like this um so that you can you know change whatever that you want your your viewers to see i like this i like using zoom for it because what happens is that um i can do my videos on you know what are you going to unbox for your dpc and then i could show one screen there and then put over something else um and then the way that it records is it doesn't for zoom it doesn't stop recording and until um, you close the, well, no, you can stop recording, but then in order to, for it to process, you have to end up um, closing the app and then it'll process. Once it processes, it'll go to a particular um, location where you have it set up. So mine goes, for example, up to here, it, it goes to a specific location. I have a Zoom folder and then it, on Zoom, it goes by date. So as long as you remember what date it's doing it on, you're good to go. So I believe this one is the current one right now. And then this was an old one. So you can use this, you can upload this directly onto YouTube right away if you want to, or you can edit it. So put post it in, uh, so plug it into your favorite editing program, whether it be, um, I use Adobe, I think it's called Adobe, shoot, Adobe Elements. That's the one I use. But there's also free ones like Windows Movie Makers. There's that option. I know if you have a Mac, there's um, iMovie. My girlfriend uses that a lot and it has some really cool features and it's free for her too. So use the free stuff as much as you can until you actually need to pay for it. Okay. Now, if you're having, and this is kind of like moving into a little bit more crazy stuff, but if you are having um, issues with, um, with syncing the visual and audio because you're recording from, let's say, your phone 
and then you're trying to upload it. See this program here, it's called Handbrake. Write this one down. I believe it is a free app. Nelson downloaded it for me. What this does is syncs your, visu your, vid your video and your audio. And what happens is when you drop a file in here, okay, it you can change it. And I think for most phones, you change it here from the frame rate of 30, you change it to 29.97. Okay, and you have to choose constant frame rate, and then you change it to whatever name, wherever you want to save it, and then you click uncode, and it will sync your your video and your audio. If you look at some of my videos, um, so for example, the face wash, the whitening face wash one, that one is not synced up at the beginning because it was before I learned how to do this. All right, this has been a lifesaver because honestly, I worked on that video for probably 15 hours trying to sync my video and audio. And then Nelson showed me this. I was like, oh, Frank, why did you show me this earlier? But it's only because I never asked him. So that is that, guys. Another way that you can also record um, video and do share screen, especially... I know he says hi, um, especially if you want to do something like a voiceover, I would highly recommend f um, PowerPoint. Okay. PowerPoint here is part of Microsoft. What you do is you create a blank presentation. And if I want to do a screen record, all I have to do is I go to insert and then I do screen recording. I click on that. I choose whatever area I want to record, right? And then I can click record and it'll give me like a three, two, one countdown and they'll start recording my screen here. I can move things into it, come sa like that, right? Um, so that I can choose exactly what I want. Then once I'm done that, what I do is I can click stop. And then you'll see it's right here. Now, the thing about this is I had the hardest time trying to figure out how to actually uh, save the file. Best way for it to save the file is right, let me make a liar on me, right click save media as. And after you save media as, you want to save an MP4 file. And then I'm just going to put this as under work and then Avon here. Uh, here, and then just training. You go to training, I'm going to do, call this like screen record example, okay? Click save. And then if I go under my files for it, it should end up there and I should be able to see it. Trainings, ta -da! The good thing is that it will record the audio from the computer. So it depends. So it'll pick up a lot of background noise. Like, for example, I'll probably kick up, uh, kick, uh, click, pick up Nathaniel like, yeah, constantly. So if you want to do a clean voiceover at that time, just do a voice recording on your phone and then you can pair everything together. All right. Any questions? No. Another thing that you guys could do, Facebook Live videos. You guys know that you can always save your Facebook Live videos and then use snippets of it into your ads or into whatever you're doing. The Facebook Live, there also is a way for you just to be recording your screen. But within the Facebook Live video, you're not able to go back and forth from looking at your face and the screen. That's the only downside of Facebook Live, unfortunately. But I mean, maybe they'll fix that one day or I just don't know how to do it. So that's basically my quick and dirty training, guys. It's not overly um, difficult, to be honest. I know there's some apps, like I have one called Record It. Like it will yep. record my screen, yep. but it won't talk. It won't record my voice. So. Yeah, so get the, the PowerPoint one. The PowerPoint one does record your voice through your computer. Okay. Yeah. So I know that works. Like, I mean, you just saw that it, I don't know if you guys heard the audio, but the audio did record on top of it. The only thing it won't work is if you're trying to screen capture sound on the, on, let's say a video that's playing on your computer, that won't work. It will only record external sounds, I believe. Uh because I, I tried to record my mom's baptism and I was able to do the screen record, but no audio came through. Unless, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, you can always do a voice record or another thing that I've done before in the past would be, I would just set up my phone beside me and then I would 
re press record at the same time. And then I would just layer the voice over top of the video so that you still hear in real time the actions that I'm doing while I'm chatting, if it's like something that requires that. Okay, that makes sense. It's not overly complicated once you get the hang of it. You just got to practice once or twice and you're good to go. I really okay. like it because they're really good for also like quick little product demos. If you want to do a fast product demo and you want to, um, like for example, um, you want to show them where it is, something uh, on your website, or you want to show um, like a little bit of information. Um, exactly, yes. like like placing orders or doing a return or something. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Or you can even do snippets of, let's say, one of uh, Samantha's uh, Facebook Live videos and say, oh, this is how they apply it. Such, for example, our FST does it like this. And then, boom, you can put in a little snippet, of, asking her permission, of course, a little snippet of their of her demo of it within your video if you're doing um, edit work. So you'd have to, like, get her to send you the video, though, and, like, ask her He's for that. Not necessarily, because if I'm, if I have something that's actually on, like, on Facebook already, um, and I can play it, if I can play it, I can capture it. Right, through the screen record of, uh, from PowerPoint. Oh, that makes sense. I understand it now, what you mean. Yeah. So you might not be able to catch her audio, so you can do a voice over the audio. So as you see here, Samantha, she makes sure that she, after she cleanses her face, she does the eye serum before she does the face serum or vice versa. So she does the face serum before the eye serum, and then she'll complete her regimen with a moisturizer followed by an SPF. So you can do the voice over as long as you have the information, but um, you can capture her doing the actual steps. Okay, awesome. With permission, of course, like always ask the original yeah. person. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Cool. Any questions, comments, concerns, ideas, brainstorm? Where are we going to put up videos? Ooh. YouTube. I want to YouTube. learn more. YouTube. Yes. <laughs> Love YouTube. Love YouTube. Yep. YouTube's definitely one. Um, TikTok. So that's it, guys, for this training. Thank you so much. If you need me, you know where to find me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. All the best in 2021. I'll see you guys, most of you guys, tonight. All right. Bye. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.